They are looking good, but very small. That's what she said. That is your typical uh, box of spoons right there. What is the purpose of that? Is this a goldfish? What, what, are we, what are we working with here? Okay, we have found the worst lure right here. It's so stupid looking. No way! Yes! No, I had one! Oh, oh, it's a fish right there. No way, right in front of me. Well, howdy there, folks. It's a little, little nipply out here today. We've got a little bit of a westerly breeze and a nice little cold front blew through last night. I'm sure that's going to be just great for the fishing. You know, fish love that when it just gets cold out of nowhere when it's been really warm for a while. Yeah, that's their favorite thing in the entire world, right? Welcome back to another episode, ladies and gents, and boy, do I have a spicy one for you today. So you guys have been just loving. The last couple, last few months on my channel, I've been doing this whole like buying the worst item and it's you know fishing related obviously but i've done it everywhere and i've done it for with almost anything that i could think of we've done the worst combo at walmart we've done the worst fishing kit and bass pro we did the worst lures at academy gosh what else have we done? i don't even know what else we've done but but these videos are great you guys love them they're just they're just popping off on youtube all the time so i know you guys really enjoying them and want to see more like them so i decided to revamp it today a little bit and uh if you guys know, a little place called Amazon, a little online store called Amazon. And I think it's safe to say this is like the biggest online retail store that exists right now, right? I mean, I don't think that's even a stretch to say that Amazon is the biggest online retailer in the world. I mean, they sell literally everything. The one thing they sell a ton of is fishing gear. And I know that because I've bought my fair share of fishing gear from Amazon. So I thought to myself the other day, you know what? There's all this coronavirus craziness going on. And by the way, the reason why I'm still out fishing is because our state and our governor said that uh, as a part of the exceptions to the stay at home order, if you're doing individual outdoor activity, that's still okay. So I'm by myself, I'm not around a single soul. So I think I'm, I'm practicing safe coronavirus habits right now. But yeah, anyway, so since all this craziness is going on in the country, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get on the old Amazon because all my fishing stores are closed. And I'm gonna see if I can find the worst fishing lures on Amazon. Now, the only problem with that is, <laughs> one, there are literally thousands, maybe hundreds, but maybe thousands of lures on Amazon. So that means I had to scroll through page after page after page of fishing lures to try to find, you know, bad or like the worst ones on the site. The other problem I was having is most lures, I mean most of them, even the ones that looked crazy to me, most of them got a pretty decent review. Most of them had, you know, at least like a three star or a four star review. And for those of you that don't know, on Amazon, people can go on and rate products with a star system from one star to five stars. And then they can, they can judge how much they either enjoyed or didn't enjoy a product. So that's kind of what I'm going off of when I say the worst lure on Amazon. I'm looking for the worst rated, the least amount of stars that come with a particular fishing lure. So I literally went through every single page of fishing lure. That's right, it took me a while, let me tell you. Cause I wanted to make dang sure I got the worst ones. And I came across three different lures. I think I had three and they were by far the worst rated they had the funniest reviews and we're gonna we're gonna look at these lures in just a second and we're gonna read some of the bad reviews on the lures eventually in this video we're gonna try to catch fish on every single one of these lures so it's about to get real here all right we're gonna start with kind of the least worst ones and the problem with this is i ordered these a couple weeks ago but all the shipping's been backed up so i just got them so some of these ratings have actually changed since i actually bought the lure so I'm gonna try to piece all this together for you guys. This first lure, just looking at the picture, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now. These things are funky looking to say the least, but the actual name is Minnow Artificial Fishing Lure Crankbait Hooks Bass Fish Crankbait Tackle Tool. <laughs> what in the world? Why would you make that your description? I mean, just looking at the picture, why not just name it like crazy looking glow in the dark freaking swim bait or something like that. Oh my gosh, and these things, you just got, you have to imagine that these things are not gonna look like that when you get them. So this thing did have two customer reviews, which gave it an average rating of three and a half stars. Like I said, it was, it was really hard to find bad rated lures, but just, I'm going by pure looks on this thing. I think this thing looks, it looks incredibly cheap. It looked incredibly weird. And with a name like that, how could you not add that to your list? But this next one's got me all messed up because I've bought a ton of swim baits on Amazon before that were really kind of cheap and not very good. 
This one's called a Quanti or whatever, fishing bait, lure, swim bait, bass, pike, life, like minnow, musky with high carbon steel treble hooks, eight inches. Woo, that's a mouthful right there. The carbon steel treble hooks, that sounds, uh, sounds like something I'd like to be a part of. I swear to you guys though, this thing had a one star review like three days ago, now it has a five star review. So it's really messing everything up. And this, there was one person that said, have your net ready, because he got, he caught three big bass and two big pickerel. So apparently I'm just the biggest idiot in the world because I think this is a bad lure, but uh, maybe it works for somebody, I don't know. That, that rating was from literally a year ago though, so I don't know. These things have probably been sitting in a warehouse somewhere, rotting and rusting for the last year. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to the final lure because it actually is a bad one. Okay, here we go. Now we got a Quanti 10 piece metal fishing lures, bass spoon, crankbait, saltwater tackle hooks, hard lure with fishing box, wholesale prices, goal. Okay. First of all, if any of you companies are out there listening to me right now, please shorten the freaking description of, of your item, okay? Just say, they, they look like spoons. I mean, they're basically spoons, what it looks like to me. But there's a kit of spoons. There's actually a bunch of them in there, apparently. Now, this one only has one review, and it's a two-star review. And here we go, let's actually read this review. It just says, smaller than it looks. They are looking good, but very small. That's what she said, mm, am I right? <laughs> yeah, so. We got some crazy stuff going on here for sure. But now it is that time in the video for us to slap the old GoPro on. Oh, by the way, we got the old SS Minnow Johnson in the mix and we've got a lake behind us that I have not fished in a long time. So yeah, there's some cool things going on here, but we're gonna strap the old GoPro on. We're going to get rigged up with some of these lures and uh, we're gonna go fishing. And that, that means we're gonna have to catch fish one fish on each of these three lures. So now I have a couple, like I have a backup swim bait just in case I lose it. And that, that box full of spoons has a million spoons in it. So we may try maybe a couple, multiple different spoons in there. And then with that uh, glow of the dark baits, there's a bunch of those that come in the pack too. So we have extra just in case we lose one. So all is good there. Now see, didn't I tell you guys that these glow in the dark lures were not gonna look like they looked? I mean, they looked blue on the website. Look at this, these are like, these are like turquoise green. They do kind of look like they would maybe kind of glow in the dark, but then again, <laughs> not really. We'll have to check the hooks on all these things. I doubt the hooks are any good, but you just never know until you try. The old box of spoons is exactly that. It is a box of spoons. So I uh, definitely have to bust this thing on. Oh, no, hold on a second. I need to bust this thing open and see. Oh, there's, all, there's a couple different colors in there. There's gold and silver. So yeah, that is your typical uh, box of spoons right there. Not really my thing, but oh God, they're already falling out. Then we have the real MVP of this video, that swim bait that had 84 characters in the, in the title of it. it, had 16 words to describe that this was a swim bait. And we actually have an extra one just in case. So we're gonna be okay. I think we can make this work. Folks, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. That's how you let me know that you like these kind of buying the worst fishing product videos. And get in the comment section, give me ideas, and I will keep doing this series for as long as you guys wanna see it. That's how I roll. If I find something that's really fun to do and you guys enjoy, I'll just I'll just keep doing it. Try to try to reinvent it every time, make it fresher and better for you guys each time. So just let me know. Finally, if you are new, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It's a red button right below the video. Join the Lojo Outdoor Fam, the best subscribers on YouTube. It's 100% free to do. It takes about five seconds for an added bonus. Enable the bell notification. That way you stay up to date with every single upload that drops on this channel. Anyways, enough talk. Let's get rigged up. Launch the boat. Let's prove that these worst lures on Amazon can actually catch fish. All right, so I got some legitimate questions for all you uh, YouTube uh, or your YouTube commenters out there. So first of all, I got my spoon rigged up, right? It's a pretty decent looking little spoon. Just chose a big one that was silver. Now this little red thing right there, what is the purpose of that? Because it looks like it's either there for one of two reasons. Either one, it's there to kind of act as like a weed guard for the, the treble hook or B, it's there to make sure I don't actually hook a fish. So all you spoon people out there, please hit me with some knowledge because I've fished a spoon a grand total of five times probably in my entire life. And that was because I was filming some sort of a challenge YouTube video. So I have no idea. Got a little swim bait rigged up right there. No questions necessary. It actually looks pretty decent. We'll just have to see what it looks like in the water. Now, my real question for you guys is, okay, let's just take a look at this little swim bait right here, okay? There is nowhere to tie this thing, okay? There's, there's nowhere to tie it. The hook is buried in the spine of it, which makes sense. That would be a good place to put it. All oh, that hook is crap, by the way. But the, where you're supposed to tie it is in there. So do I, do I push it like through like this? 
and then tie it or like what how is this thing supposed to work this right here this might be one of the worst designs i've ever seen okay yeah this thing is this okay we have found the worst lure right here because this thing unless i'm just the idiot i could be the idiot i mean this lure manufacturer may think that this is really smart other than this shenanigan we're almost rigged up and ready to go fishing wow okay so we we got it rigged up somehow don't even ask me how i did that it was that was a, a very painful maneuver right there this is gonna be a fun day right here i really outdid myself with this one uh. Woo. tell you one thing this wind is gonna be a problem today i can already tell some days the wind's a problem some days it's not today it's gonna be a problem so i mean like just seeing these lures rigged up and just looking at them without even putting them in the water i'd have to say that it seems like the the spoon is probably the most likely to work right i mean it's great bait fish imitation people have been using spoons for years to catch fish then i would say the swim bait looks pretty good without seeing it in the water it's probably the second likely to get eaten but this little joker right here unless we can find some super shallow fish that are like you know ready for a fluke fluke style presentation i just don't know i do not know but since we have some confidence in this the spoon right off the bat i think that's exactly what i'm gonna throw to start with and just kind of feel our way around I haven't fished this pond in a long time so i really have no earthly idea what these fish are doing let's just kind of whip her on out here just kind of I, I think with a spoon once again I, I think you can fish it multiple ways but i've just kind of always seen people just kind of popping it twitching it just you know real erratic real erratic action well it looks really good when you swim it too like when you just straight retrieve it it looks really good like that too I almost like that better than popping it and jigging it oh geez i can barely cast this thing <laughs> probably should have put this on the spinning gear not my best decision oh boy oh we're already having problems you can do a maintenance cast really quick fish no way yes come on let's go i think it's a fish he's running though Oh, he's trying to get in the grass. No! Fleas. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, no. Come on. Stay hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's got one hook in him. Oh, my gosh. We need this fish to start off the day. Yes! On the spoon. I'm trying to keep it down because we're cruising back here into a really nice little spot. God, that fish is warm. It's, it's so warm. It's really kind of chilly out. That, that hook just came right out of his mouth. You guys see that? <laughs> Boom, baby. First fish, a healthy little girl or guy something all right on the spoony spoon oh look my little heart thing got messed up already well whatever thank you so much buddy i really appreciate you that fish is warm as a bathtub full of water okay gosh i cannot tell you guys how good it feels in these challenges to get one lure down even if it's the lure that you have the most confidence in to begin with it feels so good to get that lure knocked off the list that was such a cool little bite right off i think this little brush pile right here and but he dove into the grass he got buried in there for a second and i thought i had lost him i'm kind of thinking you know we should save the swim bait maybe we can get a big bite with it and plus it's a little calmer back here i'm thinking if maybe if i can get this thing treat it like a fluke and just i don't even know it's so stupid looking it's like rigged upside down I don't think I did that. You know what? I'm gonna fish it as is. I'm not even gonna fix it. Oh, this thing sucks. It barely floats. And the problem is the color. Like you can't even see it, man. And this dirty water, you literally cannot see it. So this is ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be something. This this is gonna be one of those lures that could it might take us all day, or we could just get lucky and catch a fish right off the bat. And that's just the nature of a lure like this. We we're gonna need a miracle here. You know what this thing is this thing's even worse than i thought it was every single time i cast it the hook gets fouled up 
because this thing is stupid and it's I, it, it definitely looks like it's rigged upside down i don't know how i can even fix that all right i kind of fixed it i don't even think it matters <laughs> i kind of did fix it though now it's actually going the right way the boot tail is actually pointing down like it's supposed to what a joke we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some serious brainstorming to make this thing work i think i'm gonna have to pick up the swim bait just to maintain my sanity a little bit with this stupid lure let's drop the old swim bait in the water see what she looks like at least i can cast this thing it helps i'm guessing it's just got the same action that every multi-jointed swim bait in the history of amazon has ever had it's gonna have like a snake-like movement and you guys really can't see it that well the tail does a pretty decent job of swimming um the hook wraps around the back of the tail which is really nice because then it just uh, screws up on every cast so you know prototypical multi-jointed swim bait <laughs> whatever fish that's trying to imitate with the color scheme i have no idea so uh yeah what do you guys think kind of what kind of fish is this is this a goldfish what, what are we what are we working with here we need to come across some really hungry bass this is what we need we're gonna have to one thing i will say about this lure the faster you retrieve it the better it looks like if you really get to going fast i mean it just it just it really has like an erratic you know bait fish running away from danger action so i kind of i kind of like the way it looks when you really get it going the problem is is i don't know if these fish are eating bait that are just flying around like that i think that spoon got hit on the fall anyways so i don't know it's gonna be something it's gonna be fun it's always fun figuring these fish out look at this godforsaken wind jeez oh man this is going to be tough to deal with i got to find i gotta find a place without so much wind on this lake this is just nuts Maybe if I get around back, oh shoot. Maybe if I get around behind all this stuff over here. Oh, maybe I can get out of it. Oh, oh, it's a fish right there. No way, right in front of me. Oh, I was bringing it in to cast again. Please, please, please. Oh gosh, he's not big, but we need him. Oh yes! He's in the boat, it counts. He counts. Yes! Mouth full of swim bait and treble hooks, baby. He's got both of them in the same spot. I don't know how the heck he did that. Oh my goodness. Wow! What a bite. I wish you guys could be on the boat with me sometimes, you know? Because some of these bites are just like, they're insane. They're hard to believe unless you were in the boat. Boom, another warm fish, like he just came out of the bathtub. A little smaller than the first one. <laughs> Not much larger than the bait itself, but uh, you gotta give him an A for effort. And you gotta give him, give him a big thumbs up for being such an aggressive little fish. If he keeps on eating bait fish this big, he's gonna be a 10 pounder in no time. Heck yeah, I may even just throw this a couple more casts because I was starting to get to an area right here where some big bass have been caught in the past. Uh, not really by me <laughs> but people have caught bass out here in this area uh, it's really nice because it's out of the wind too or you know kind of out of the wind i'm not getting my boat pushed around anymore which is really nice yeah all right the swim bait i was really kind of figuring out how to uh fish this thing a certain way to get what i thought was the best action out of it and heck yeah you start getting good action next thing you know you get a bite and the problem now is how in the world are we going to get that crazy looking soft plastic boot tail swim bait with the hook that's buried in it so far you can't even tie up your line to it how are we going to get that thing to work i don't i don't understand a scenario in which this is going to catch fish okay this will be my actual last cast i mean it, there's there's so many factors it's not just one thing that makes this lure silly I mean, first of all, you wouldn't even throw a lure this color right now because it's it, this water's so dirty. And I guess that's my fault because I chose I chose the location. But then you've got like it's a weightless fluke basically, and a super windy day is not a day where you would 
throw a weightless fluke. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of problems here. But like we do with these challenges, we're gonna gonna hit it with our best shot. And I'm gonna put in as much time as I possibly can and see if we can make it work. We may have to make alterations to it. I normally don't like to do that with challenges like this. I like to keep the lure pure, but we may just simply have to make some alterations to it to make it work. I don't know. I really think the only option here is to add a weight to this thing, to put some type of a weight slip sinker or a a split shot something so I can cast a little bit further and so I can actually just kind of swim it like a swim bait so I really think that's my only option here kids hate to do it but I'm gonna have to do it well kids here's what we're gonna have to do <laughs> okay we're gonna have to add a weight to this it's just it has to happen especially with the wind there, there's just no there's no other way to tackle this situation so I'm gonna put a little like really light I think it's like a 3 16th or even lighter a little tungsten slip sinker on there and then we've got one more little trick up our sleeve we're gonna implore <laughs> a little spike it a little chartreuse die we gotta do it guys there is no more like oh i don't want to do this i don't want to alter the bay i'm going to stay true to the challenge like look if we want this lure to work we're gonna have to break the rules a little bit i'm just gonna hit the tail like the little the little boot part of the tail just like that just to give the bait something to give the fish something to key in on when they see this thing because it looks so dang stupid the only way they're going to eat it is if one they can they can see it decently and two maybe you know give it a little extra scent make it smell kind of bad let's see if we can at least cast the dang thing better oh yes i can get it a little bit further so that's going to help us it's also going to get the bait kind of close to the bottom so we can maybe just work it like a Maybe a real regular paddle tail swim bait or something, you know, and just kind of swim it, pop it some. Wow. Okay, yeah, I found the worst lure. This is it right here, guys. You want to go check this lure out? You want to really challenge yourself here? By all means, challenge yourself with this lure. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. If I didn't know any better, I could have sworn I just had a bite right there. Now, I could be completely wrong and idiotic probably am i was right in this little pocket right here i was kind of just letting it sit i could have sworn that i had a oh i do no way yes no i had one you guys see that he was running out ran directly under my boat oh my goodness somebody kill me now oh I didn't get a good hook set, plus the fish was running right at me. Oh my goodness. Guys, are we ever going to get a bite on this thing again? I don't know. Perfect. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I almost fell off the boat. Oh, I got him. He's in the pads though. Oh, come on out, buddy. I got him. He's in the pads. Got to keep the pressure on him. Gosh darn it, I almost fell off the boat. I don't know if he's still hooked or not. See if I can pull myself over there. Stay on there. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get him out of here. That was so crazy. Oh, he is. He's on there. There's his tail right there. Oh my gosh, let's just net him. How about that? How about them apples? Lure came right out of his mouth and I got him in the net, baby. <laughs> I'm still snagged. My lure's still snagged, but I got that little joker. Look at him. Look at that. The smallest one of the freaking day and my lure is still snagged well it doesn't matter now boom baby winning fish i would show you guys the lure if i could freaking get it doesn't even matter you guys saw it wowzers thank you i never thought a winning fish would be this small doesn't matter bam <laughs> yes baby we are the champions my friends Woo! the wind couldn't stop us nothing could stop us okay those alterations that i did to that thing i mean those certainly certainly helped me there's no doubt about that i really want to kind of keep fishing it's just this dang wind guys that's the only problem if it wasn't so windy then we would just kind of sit here and fish with these lures all day but you know what man we 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 did this thing we did this challenge i don't care what anybody says 
guys look at this look at look at these waves like this is this is like being in the gulf of mexico this is like being in the ocean right here i knew there was going to be wind today but holy cow like i can't keep fishing in this this particular lake has like zero cover at all from the wind look at this like waves are crashing in the boat this is this is nuts well folks there you have it that is the conclusion of today's video and i gotta be honest with you i'm 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 pleasantly surprised with how this all turned out i mean and honestly i'd keep fishing you guys saw how bad the wind is out there i don't know if you can hear it in this microphone how bad the wind is but it, it's freaking bad okay it's it's not good when you're in a small plastic boat like i am you just can't can't fish places like this in these conditions i mean or else i would you guys know i've fished in some pretty pretty hairy conditions before but yeah pleasantly surprised with the worst lures on amazon i couldn't be happier with how this turned out i actually caught a fish on every single lure now we didn't switch up the spoons like i kind of wanted to but that was mainly because of the wind i just couldn't stay out here anymore i mean there's waves out there there's freaking white caps in a small lake big pond whatever you want to call it i mean wow but hey we caught fish caught some N nothing big of course but with a challenge like this i'm not looking for anything except a bite i just want one bite per lure and hopefully i can catch the fish and we got lucky today but guys remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like these worst videos and i will keep doing them give me ideas in the comment section make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications turn on there's some big giveaways in the works coming soon that's why it's so important to make sure you do not miss an upload and that's where that bell notification comes in handy because YouTube doesn't always show you guys when I drop new videos. Sometimes they just don't show my subscribers at all. So if you don't have that bell notification turned on, you're likely to miss an upload at some point. And that just might be the one where I do a big giveaway or something like that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for helping me grow this channel. The channel continues to grow. So for all you new folks out there that are just coming on, thank you for joining up with the Lojo Outdoor fam. You guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. I know I always say that, but that's the truth. Stay safe out there with the coronavirus kids. Guys, I am getting out of here. On to the next outdoor adventure. Fist bump, I'm out. Perfect.